Hey guys, this is Camplified, and today we will talk about colligative properties. We will not deal with them deeply, but we will just follow the topic colligative properties and what it means. So this is this will this is a small video which talks about only what are colligative properties. Let's start. Now, what are colligative properties? Those physical properties of solutions. those physical properties of solution which depends upon the relative number of particles of solute and do not depend on nature of solute particle are called colligative property now there are a few terms that you should remember about colligative properties first one is colligative properties talks about the solution which depend on the number of particles of solute colligative properties only depend on the number of particles of solute and not on the number of particles of solvent remember this term that colligative properties only depend on the number of particles of solute right they do not depend on number of particles of solvent and also colligative properties only talks about the physical properties of the solution physical properties no chemical properties will be involved that is no chemical reaction will take place right only physical properties remember these two terms first physical properties and second only on the number of particles of solute that's it this is the definition of colligative properties now now by uh, number of particles uh, the number of particles can be written in different forms first colligative properties depend on number of solute particles second you can say number of molecules third you can say number of ions fourth you can say number of moles of solute now moles of solute uh, we know that one mole is equal to 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 or some sometimes you can also write 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 now the value is fixed and one mole means one mole means there are 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 particles about which we are talking so number of moles also represent number of particles and mole fraction fifth one is mole fraction now what is the formula for mole fraction so for example there are two components and we need to find the mole fraction of a then we will write number of moles of a upon number of moles of a plus number of moles of b now if you look at the formula we are just writing number of moles and just above i have told that if we are talking about moles we are talking about a particular number so in mole fraction also we are using number of moles so it means we are talking about a particular number number of particles so in any way you can say it in any way either number of moles of solute number of molecules number of ions number of moles of solute uh, and mole fraction it all it it all is used to measure colligative properties or to represent colligative properties and just remember always talk about solute whenever you are talking about colligative properties always talk about solute but not about solvent right now the colligative properties are the four types which we are going to study in upcoming videos one by one are first one relative lowering in vapor pressure we have already studied it to some extent in raoult's law for solid liquid system in the previous video i will uh, give the link in the description if you want to watch that video you can watch that video also second one is elevation in boiling point how number of particles increases or decreases the boiling point depression in freezing point how freezing point is disturbed by number of particles how osmotic pressure changes by changing the number of particles right we will talk or uh, we will talk about them one by one in the upcoming four videos i will make four videos for these four topics right so these are the four colligative properties we will discuss in the upcoming videos
thank you for watching in today's video we only talked about the definition of colligative properties in the upcoming videos we will talk about the individual colligative properties one by one right thank you for watching